to my youtube channel and today's lesson is about money and the substrate it's simple interest in our previous lesson we derived the formula of getting simple interest and we said that simple interest is the profit the money generates or attracts after a given period of time and we said simple interest is equal to principal amount times rate of 100 times time this is the formula that we derived in our previous lesson today i want us we encounter questions that entails us to apply the formula for us to get an unknown in a question so let's begin with our first question we are told that our boy deposited 600 shillings with cooperative society after how long did the money yield a simple interest of 48 shillings at the rate of 8% per annum so in this question we we need to write it down or we need to analyze it step by step what we are given and what we're looking for so the money deposited from a previous lesson we said money deposited or money borrowed is what we call principal amount therefore in this question our principal amount is 600 how long is a question of time so in other words in this question you're looking for a known and the unknown is the time so whatever you're given we are given the principal amount we are also given the simple interest here we already have the simple interest so you're no longer going to look for the simple interest they already provided for us we are also given the rate and the rate is eight percent per annum per annum means on a yearly basis so our question is about time Therefore, this takes us back to the formula of getting simple interest. And we say simple interest equals to principal amount times rate of 100 times time. Meaning, here, we are looking for only one unknown. And that one unknown is the time. So now, let's replace whatever you're given to our formula. So, SI, this equals to PA times rate of 100 times time. Our SI is... 48 so whatever I'm given you put it to there our simple interest is 48 our principal amount is 600 our rate is 8 over 100 but we don't know time you're looking for the time therefore after reaching this point because of this letter now it takes us back to the theory of algebra so now let's simplify zero goes with zero zero goes with zero so eight, six times eight it's 48 48 times t is 48 t so 48 is equal to 48 t we want t so we do away this 40 by dividing on both sides with 48 so remember 40 divided by 48 is not zero it's one so our time is one which is one year and we're saying one year because of per annum per annum means on yearly basis so our answer is one year this tells us that the money stayed in the cooperative society for one year before him going to pick so he picked after one year let's do another example in a second example you're told that jenny borrowed some money at a simple interest of 12 percent per annum after 18 months she had paid a total interest of 5,400, how much money had she paid all together? We need to read the question and analyze it. We are being asked how much had she paid all together. All together means the money borrowed plus the simple interest it attracted for us to get what we call total amount or for us to get total, whatever she paid in total, all together. So let's look at the question and analyze it step by step. So here we are given the rate, and the rate is 12% per annum, meaning on, on a yearly basis. The time is in 18 months. But remember, because the, the, the rate talks about per annum, and the time is in months, we need to change the months to become years for them to be in line with the, the rate. Therefore, 18 months to change them into years, we say 18 divided by 12. So by 2, it's 6. By 2, it's 9. By 3, it's 2. And by 3, it's 3, which is 3 over 2. 
So our time is 3 over 2. We are also given interest. Interest. So this is our simple interest. Is equal to 5,400. So we don't need to look for the simple interest because already it's, it's provided or it's given. Now, it takes us back to something that we're not given. In this question, something is not given. And that is the principal amount. The money that was borrowed is not given. And this money borrowed is very important because the question is asking, in total, how much did Jane return? And in total, she returned whatever she had borrowed, which is the principal amount plus the simple interest, which is already given here. So this tells us we need this formula of getting simple interest for us to get the principal amount. So how do we get simple interest? Simple interest is equal to principal amount times rate of 100 times time. Therefore, we will quit or we replace the formula with whatever you are given. We are given a simple interest as 5,400 is equal to the principal that you don't know. We can call it X multiplied by the rate and our rate is 12 over 100 times time and the time is 3 over 2. So by 2, 1, by 2 it's 6. 6 times 3 it's 18 times X. This X is over 1 which is 18 over 100 X. So 5,400 is equal to 18x over 100. We want the value of x, so in, according to algebra, we need to do away with these fractions. So you multiply by the reciprocal of the fraction, which is 100 over 18 on both sides. 100, sorry, 100 over 18. So that here, you are left only with the x. So here, by 18, 1, or by, by 9, here, so here, by 9, 2, by 9, 6, which is 600, by 2, 1, by 2, it's 300, 300 times 100, you get 30,000, because this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, which is 30,000, and what is 30,000? This is the principal amount, meaning Jen had borrowed a total of 30,000. Now, when she starts returning, she will return whatever she had borrowed plus the simple interest. So the simple interest, remember, she was already given. So let's get whatever she returned in total, in terms, all together. 30,000 plus the simple interest of 5,400. So when we put this together, let's add vertically here. 0, 0, 4, 0 plus 5 is 5, and this 3. So she returned a total of 35,400, which is the money borrowed plus the simple interest. Let's do our next example. In our example 3, we are told that Wanda deposited 24,600 shillings in a certain financial institution which paid simple interest per annum. After nine months, the total amount of money plus interest earned was 25,338. At what rate percent did the money earn interest? So you are looking for the rate. So let us analyze the question and write down whatever you are given and whatever you are looking for. So the deposit, which is our principal amount, is equal to 24,600. Which paid simple interest per annum. Per annum means on a yearly basis. So after nine months, our time is in nine months. And because of per annum, we need to change our nine months into years. So nine divided by 12 by three, it's three by three, it's four. So our time is three quarter of an year, which is three over four. Uh huh. Total amount of money plus interest earned was. So what is this 25,338? This is the total amount. That is the money borrowed plus the money plus the, this, this 25, total amount is equal to 25,338. So when she was going to pick her money from the bank, she withdrew 25,338. Remember she had taken or deposited 24,600. So this is the total amount that she withdrew from the account. Meaning, this money
money total amount how do we get to amount total amount is equals to the principal amount plus simple interest now let's proceed with our question at what rate we are looking for the rate you don't know rate again you don't know the simple interest so let's apply the formula for getting simple interest simple interest is equals to principal amount times rate of 100 times time so in this question we have two unknowns we don't know the simple interest also we don't know the rate and we can't deal with two unknowns there's a secret somewhere that can en enable us to find for simple interest so that it may remain with the only one unknown which is the rate so here we are given to amount why are we given to amount we are given to amount to help us to get the simple interest because total amount is equal to principal amount plus simple interest and already are given the principal amount so let's get the simple interest so 25,338 is equal to Principal amount of 24,600 plus simple interest that you don't know. So put like terms together, take away 25,600. It remains 8, 3. So you borrow 1 there. 13 take away 6 is 7. 4 take away 4 is 0. 2 take away 2 is 0. So what is this? This is our simple interest. Once it gets our simple interest now, we can replace it here to the formula and come up with only one unknown, which is the rate. So let's replace it there. 738 is equal to the principal of 24,600 times rate, and our rate you don't know, rate over 100 times time, and our time is 3 over 4. So let's cross multiply two zeros, they go by 2, 2, by 2, 1, 2, 3. So 123 times 3, remember there's a 2 here, 9, 6, 3. All this is over 2. So here we have 738 is equal to 369 over these 2 there. And remember times this R. Now, according to algebra, we want to be left with R because we're looking for the value of R. So how do we do away this fraction? We multiply by its reciprocal. And its, re its reciprocal is 2 over 369. Whatever you've done on the right-hand side, you also do it on the left-hand side. So times 2 over 369. So that here, we are left only with the R. So let's simplify. But 369 is 1. But 369 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Therefore, our rate is 4%. Our R, which is the rate, is 4%. Let's do another example. In our fourth example, we are told that David deposited a certain amount of money in a bank which paid simple interest at a rate of 15% per annum. At the end of nine months, she withdrew all the interest amounting to 360 shillings how much money had she deposited so now let's read the equation as we analyze it she deposited a certain amount that we're not told uh, which paid a simple interest at the rate of we are given the rate so whatever you're given rate down 15 percent is our rate per annum meaning on a yearly basis at the end of nine months so our time is in months nine months but now because our rate is in per annum we change our month into years by saying nine divided by 12 so by three it's three by three four so our time is three over four uh this is three quarter of an year then she withdrew all the interest so the interest which is the simple interest was amounting to 360 shillings how much is she deposited so we don't know how much she was she had deposited so now we need to apply the formula for getting simple interest and the formula says simple interest is equal to principal amount times rate of 100 times time so whatever you're given here you keep it back to the question our si our interest is 360 is equal to the principal amount which is the money deposited we don't know what it is we can call it letter x times rate and our rate is 15 over 100 times our time and our time is three quarter of an year so we have only one unknown so we, now we can proceed applying algebraic 
formula so we cross multiply here we can't uh -huh. so let's cross multiply 15 times 3 it's 45 45 over 400 times this x therefore on our right hand side we have 45 x over 400 so 360 is equals to 45 x over 400 we want to be left with the x here and this is a fraction so we multiply by the reciprocal of the fraction which is 400 over 45 on both sides 400 over 45 and here we left with our x by 9 it's 5 by 9 it's 4 which is 40 by 5 1 by 5 8 8 times 400 it's 30 200 which is 3200 so he had deposited 3200 and this generated a profit or a simple interest of 360 shillings i wish you the best and kindly subscribe press notification bell leave a comment and also practice remember practice makes perfect thanks for watching bye bye